the Savannah River site, SRS, nuclear production complex in South Carolina produced more than one-third of U.S. weapons-grade plutonium, nearly all tritium, and other nuclear materials, plutonium-238, plutonium-242, and neptunium-237, for military and civilian purposes. Nuclear waste dumps and past poor management of production and failure to conduct necessary cleanup activities have led to widespread contamination of the SRS area and have also called into question the safety of major water resources in the area, including the Savannah River. Current nuclear waste management practices threaten to turn the SRS complex into a high-level nuclear waste dump on the banks of one of the largest rivers in the southeastern United States. The SRS complex was built in the early 1950s, five nuclear reactors and two large reprocessing facilities for processing nuclear materials, the so-called F and H canyons. These were the sources of most of the contamination. The SRS waste is the most radioactive of all U.S. military nuclear facilities. About 99% of this radioactivity is in 49 underground tanks designed to store high-level waste, fission products, plutonium, uranium, and other radionuclides. The main danger to water resources is posed by long-lived radionuclides, radioactive substances in buried waste and lagoons, as well as radioactivity in the aeration zone and groundwater under the SRW. The danger is further exacerbated by the presence of non-radioactive toxins. Numerous surface burials, burial in trenches, incineration in pits and backfills have been practiced as a disposal method at SRS. One of the largest and most contaminated sites is the Radioactive Waste Disposal Facility, located between sites F and H of the reprocessing facilities. It was mainly used to dispose of low radioactive and mixed waste. The SRS complex also contains more than 10 lagoons containing billions of gallons of liquid waste contaminated with radionuclides and toxic organic chemicals and heavy metals. Most of the liquid waste came from two reprocessing plants and reactors. The solid and liquid waste disposal practices of the past have resulted in serious soil and groundwater contamination. They enter local streams, from where they then enter the Savannah River. The effects from contamination with tritium, viosis, strontium-90, mercury, cadmium, and lead will persist for decades. The effects from iodine-129, technetium-99, neptunium-237, uranium isotopes, and plutonium-239 contamination will last for thousands of years, and there is no hope that they will be controlled. Tritium Tritium is the most common radioactive substance on the SRS production complex. Tritium is a radioactive form of hydrogen. Most tritium is of artificial origin. Sometimes tritium is found in nature, where it is formed as a result of interaction between the atmosphere and cosmic radiation. Having a relatively short half-life, 12.3 years, tritium decays at about 5.5% per year. In nuclear weapons, the main function of tritium is to enhance fissile material production, which is used in both weapons based on pure fission reactions and preliminary versions of thermonuclear weapons. Tritium is in the warhead, in removable reusable containers, and enhances the detonation efficiency of nuclear materials. In its gaseous form, tritium is usually not particularly dangerous to health, since humans exhale it with the air before the body receives a significant dose of radiation. However, tritium can replace one or both hydrogen atoms in a water molecule, thus forming radioactive water, which has the same chemical properties as ordinary water. Because water is an integral part of life, tritium water can spread radioactivity to all parts of the body, such as cells, as well as penetrate DNA and proteins. Tritium in organic matter is called organically bound tritium OBT. OBT in radioactive water can penetrate the placenta and irradiate the developing fetus, increasing the risk of birth defects, miscarriages, and other ailments. Tritium releases enter streams in the SRS area in two ways, through direct releases and through tritium migration from buried waste to groundwater. For about the first two decades, from the 1950s through the mid-1970s, the main sources of tritium contamination were reactors and reprocessing plants. Over the next 30 years, the migration of tritium to and from groundwater to surface streams increased substantially. Although the near-surface groundwater beneath the SRS is not used for drinking purposes, its tritium content is alarming because it migrates into the Savannah River, whose water is used as drinking water. 
Measurements of tritium in more than half of the monitoring wells at the separation and management operations sites show tritium concentrations exceeding drinking water standards. The concentration of tritium at the mouth of the river near Savannah, Georgia, in 2000 was 950 picocuries slash liter, in 2002 it was slightly lower, 774 picocuries slash liter. This means the tritium is contained in the river along its entire length, from the source of the contamination, the SRS complex, all the way to the Atlantic Ocean. Although the half-life of tritium is shorter than that of other dangerous radioactive isotopes, this period, 12.3 years, is long enough to make tritium a major source of radioactive contamination in the river for decades. In 1991, tritium was found in drinking water wells in Burke County, Georgia. The U.S. Department of Energy, which is responsible for SRS activities, claims that the level of tritium contamination is currently not dangerous, as it is 10 to 20 times less than the maximum allowable level of contamination in drinking water under existing U.S. Environmental Protection Agency regulations. But this fact does not mean that all public health regulations and requirements have been met. For example, it is important to make comparisons not only with drinking water standards, but also with background levels of contamination in the analysis. The natural concentration of tritium in lakes, rivers and drinking water prior to the nuclear tests was 5 to 25 picocuries slash liter. Nuclear tests have led to a significant increase in the amount of tritium in the atmosphere. Although much of it has already decayed, the remaining tritium from nuclear tests is enough to contaminate the environment globally. Existing drinking water standards for tritium do not protect children and the intrauterine fetus to the same extent as they do adults. Current radiation protection standards suggest that beta exposure, such as that emitted by tritium, is as harmful to the body as whole body exposure to gamma or x-rays. But the risk of cancer per unit of radiation energy when exposed to tritium can be much higher. Other contamination not only tritium, but also other radioactive isotopes migrate from waste disposal sites and lagoons to groundwater. Concentrations of some radionuclides in groundwater in many areas of the complex exceed standards for drinking water. The most common are strontium-90 and iodine-129 with half-lives of 28.1 and 16 million years, respectively. The content of radium-226, uranium isotopes, iodine-129, and strontium-90 in groundwater also significantly exceeds drinking water standards. In this video, I have outlined several global problems that exist at the Savannah River Site SRS, nuclear production complex in South Carolina. If I see interest in this topic, I will be releasing an interesting follow-up on this topic soon. I look forward to your comments. Subscribe to the channel and share this video with your friends. Give it a thumbs up. Tell us interesting facts you know about the topic of this video. See you in new videos.